616 Thursday morning. So the first week of December started off with some December like temperatures at the beginning of the week. Now uh, a trend upward in the temperature department. So that's that's okay. We're not, we're not upset about that. Yeah, we're well above average this afternoon, okay. Patrick. And then back below normal <laughs> for highs for Friday and the upcoming weekend. Feels like early yeah. December, right? Ups and downs we go. Right now we're tracking a couple of lighter showers. So you can see in Narragansett, good visibility. This is nothing that should slow you down here locally as we look out towards North Situate. A little glimmer on the roadways, just a little damp here as you head into the morning commute. Our threat tracker, though, it's in the green for today. We've got two opportunities for showers. First thing this morning, light and scattered, drier and very mild this afternoon. And then in the evening hours, a few showers return. We're back to dry weather for Friday and Saturday. But again, and cooler to go along with it. Our live radar, really spotty light showers. It's rain showers for us locally. A little bit of freezing rain in uh, central and western Massachusetts has that area under winter weather advisory for another couple of hours until 8 o'clock this morning. So if you're traveling outside of the region and heading north today, a heads up for the potential for some slippery travel up here. Otherwise, again, the temperatures have already climbed up above freezing and a warm front is lifting through. That front's going to be bringing that surge of mild air ahead of a cold front, which is going to come in tonight. Looking at our temperatures right now. Already back to 40 in Smithfield, 44 in Plymouth. We've climbed to 40 in New Bedford and 50 in Westerly. Warm air pushing in on that south and southwest wind that we're going to see today. So while the winds are light right now in Providence, as that warm front lifts through, we're going to be seeing them picking up this afternoon, um, even later this morning. So plan on some warming temperatures, upper 40s by 8 o'clock in the morning. And then in the afternoon, mainly cloudy skies. But some breaks of blue at times, and the winds gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour. And during the evening commute, chance of a shower going back up. Here's an hour by hour look at the forecast. So this morning's a little bit unsettled for the drive into work, and there's some dry conditions in the afternoon hours. And then this evening, a couple of passing showers possible. Most of these holding off until later in the evening and the early part of the night. They're brief as they move through, and then as the skies clear overnight, the temperatures will get back to some cooler readings. So tomorrow morning, it's in the 30s, and the winds. Will add to that chilly feel. This morning, I expect to see those light showers tapering off, temperatures gradually warming. So by noontime, about 56 degrees. Check out these afternoon highs today, upper 50s in Wickford. You know, a good chunk of the day ends up dry with highs in the upper 50s in Burrowville and West Greenwich. It's well above average. Providence, you're close to 60 degrees. And you're similar in New Bedford and Westport, Seekonk, Attleboro as well, into the upper 50s. If you're headed into Providence, for the state house tree lighting ceremony tonight, looking at just a slight chance of a shower at that time. Temperatures very mild this evening, still in the 50s in the early part of the evening and night. And then the temperatures will cool overnight as the skies clear to around 38 degrees. Here's the seven day forecast. Back to reality tomorrow. It's cool and it's windy. Temperatures lower to middle 40s with sunshine falling back into the 30s by the time the kids are wrapping up the school day. On Friday, we'll be down to around 39 degrees, and wind chills early on Saturday morning could be down into the teens, upper 20s for the temperature, 45 Saturday afternoon. Sunday daytime looks dry, still tracking some rainfall for Sunday night and Monday. Another system to watch Tuesday night and Wednesday. And you